All right guys, Rich here from the rcnetwork.com and in today's video, I'll be showing you how to prepare a body for paint with Pactra paints. Now, if you're not familiar with Lexan or polycarbonate bodies that we use in the RC industry, we use these clear, somewhat flexible bodies to give our remote control vehicles somewhat of a scale look. Now, this is a buggy body for the team associated B6D. And I painted this up with some Pactra paints, but with that, a lot of the prep that needs to be done prior to painting is key. So in this video, I'll be showing you different tips and tricks on how to prepare a body for the best paint job of your RC vehicle. So in this video, a couple of things, we are going to be going over how to pre-cut the body, how to wash the body appropriately to get all of the mold release agent off the underside of it. And also we're going to go over different masking techniques to just get your body ready for paint. Now with most polycarbonate bodies, there is an exterior overspray film. It's basically this clear film right here. You can kind of see it peeled up right here as I just did. And what that's designed to do is to protect the exterior of the body from getting any type of overspray while you're spraying. Now the underside of the body is where we actually put the color on the vehicle. So with that, I do like to pre-cut my bodies. Now you'll notice on this body, there's lots of extra pieces right here from the original mold that you're not going to even use. So why paint them? So let's go ahead and let's use some of the tools I have set out here to pre-cut our bodies. Now, one thing that I use mostly is an X-Acto knife with a very precise number 11 tip. It just gives you the ability to score the Lexan body and then just tear it um, along the score line. Now, another way to do it is also using some Lexan curved scissors. Now, I don't usually use these to cut the body out, but just for mild trimming, I use these kind of Lexan scissors from Dubro. Now, scoring the body is pretty simple. You always want to score from the outside because you want to score the over film spray first and then down into the polycarbonate. You don't have to cut all the way through. Just a simple score line through about 10% of the material is all you need. Now with that, just make sure that you are scoring on the manufacturer suggested score line. And as always, the adage says, measure twice, cut once. So that is that. We went ahead and scored all the way around it. Now it's a matter of just getting that score line going. I usually take my uh, Lexan scissors and just go ahead and cut up to that score line just like that. And it's just a matter of just tearing around the score. Start easy and then you'll start to see it uh, just go straight onto the score line and start making that score. There we go. And there you have it. There is the actual uh, body section that we will be painting. You'll notice it's a lot smaller now. Um, so you can concentrate all of your painting efforts on this small section. All right, so now that we have the body all pre-cut, it's time to give it a good bath. I usually use the kitchen sink. Uh, please get the permission of the kitchen sink owner to do this. So right here, just a quick plunge into the sink and just with some warm soapy waters, all you need, a very clean rag, and you're just pretty much washing the underside of the body. Overside has that protective film on it. We don't really have to worry about that too much. 
any good dish soap is fine. I just have some seventh generation right here and just a nice little squirt inside the water and you're pretty much set. After that, it's a matter of just rinsing the body, making sure that it is all washed and all the little crevices and crooks and everything and making sure that you're getting that mold release agent that the body manufacturers put on it to release the body from the mold. So they use kind of like a non-stick spray, so to speak, on the bodies and that's definitely not good for paint. All right, so we have it all done, ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and release the water here and give it a good rinsing. Getting all the soap off the body. Now it's on to just getting this thing all dry. You wanna make sure you have a completely dry body and you wanna make sure that there is no water whatsoever. You can use compressed air, just be very careful of the um, over spray film that you're not uh, releasing that. So go ahead and uh, make sure it's completely dry and it's on to the final step. Now that we have the body all uh, pre-cut, we have it washed, um, now it's time to go over the design of everything. So there's a couple of different tapes that I like to use. Um, the first one being kind of like a paint line tape. This is a very thin vinyl tape and it's good for having a very precise paint line, especially if you're going from one color to the next. You always wanna use a very precise uh, painter's tape. So this is a quarter inch tape. I also have this half inch tape, but there's various different thicknesses that you can get. I think even an eighth of an inch you can get too for a very thin uh, painter's line. Now the other tape that I use is just, you know, good old uh, blue painter's tape I picked up at uh, actually Lowe's. Uh, so this is Blue Hawk. I think there's 3M as well. And this is the slow release tape. So um, this tape has very little tact to it. Not good for a painter's line, but it's actually good for uh, covering up stuff that you don't want a particular color. So so in this case for the interior set, I'm gonna be painting the center console just a little bit different color. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some of this half inch uh, tape right here, kind of approximate it and go ahead and cut it off. And we're going to apply it on the area that I want painted a different color. Well guys, that's it. That's how I prep my bodies, getting it ready for some good packed or paint. Well, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. I showed you how to pre-cut bodies, how to wash them up so they're all nice and clean, ready for the packed or paint. Also some of the different uh, tapes that I use here at the RC Network. Well guys, that's it for now. If you have any comments or questions about this video, please feel free to post it on down below. And as always, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now guys, over and out.